Hey, Coach Kolf, Coach Bells, breaking down some film. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves in the seat of the quarterback. First thing the quarterback should be doing. First thing, where are these guys at? Okay. First thing me and you should be doing when they line up is look at the safeties. That should be what we look at on every single offensive play. Okay. Because we know that if there's two safeties high, we know our outside flankers are covered. That's four guys out of the box right now. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure and check to see if our slots are covered or uncovered. Okay, we've got a Sam flexed out on our slot receiver, and we've got an uncovered slot left. So we know that we got a Sam out of the box now. That's five. There's only six guys left. That tells us we got a six-man box. Pretty simple and straightforward. When I'm analyzing this stuff, I look at safeties first. Then I look at the depth of the corners and their angle. Are they, do they have an outside fit position on the receiver, funneling everything inside to the safeties? Or do they have an inside position where they're going to allow the release outside for the trail technique which would tell me they're more in a man position or man coverage. So looking at this right now, the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the play of the safeties. Okay? The safeties are 12 yards off the ball, but if we watch this, they stay flat-footed and they sort of step up. The minute this quarterback shows fake, these guys are not backpedaling. They are not backpedaling. So if we watch this, they stay flat-footed or in place, which tells me that they have more of a run-stopping responsibility. Okay, If they had deep halves, they would not be staying flat-footed and stepping forward with four free releases on the outside. No way. No way. Okay? No way. All right? The next thing that we want to take a look at is <clears throat> how our Sam plays this slot. Okay, if we roll the tape here, we see that he's got he's got more or less flat responsibility, or or he's in man coverage with the back. But I would guess he's got more of a flat responsibility. Okay, he's not staying with that slot receiver. Okay. He's not staying with that slot receiver. So if we look at this, we want to say, okay, we got a two shell, six man box, and we've got two slot receivers. Which one has the biggest cushion? Okay, the one that has the biggest cushion is a slot over here. Okay, so when we get this two shell high look, okay, we want to attempt to hit the fade flat route, the fade flat route. And we're going to cover that right now. What we want to do is we want to tell our quarterback on the fade flat route where these guys go fade and these guys go flat. Okay. We want to choose the slot receiver with the most cushion. Okay. And I, I would even say that that's not even his man. So if we look at this and we roll the tape, who's got the flat out here? Who's got the flat out here? Who's got it? No idea. No idea who's got it. Okay, he drops a simple hitch. Now, that could have very well been a hitch or a flat. If we look at our outside receiver, he's taking this guy with him. We could have went here or we could have ran hitch. Okay, but we've got to run that to the slot side with the biggest cushion. Okay, this is very, very, very important. 